This is Ryan. <coughs> it's been a thousand six hundred and fifty three days <coughs> since I since I started playing Call of Duty. Please <coughs> if anyone is out there, please <coughs> 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 No, but besides the joke, guys, how many of you guys have played Call of Duty for at least five years? I don't know why, but Call of Duty is just fucking addicting to me. Like, I know I spin for a trick shotting team, you know? I'm a fucking ballerina. I have to spin for these guys, and fucking... It's, it's like a job inside of a video game. You know how pathetic that sounds? But I do spin for a COD team, and I guess that's what's kept me in Call of Duty all these years. After five constant years of playing this game, I finally got to the points where I just said, You know what? Fuck this game. Like, I finally realized this game was no good anymore. I finally realized it's the most pathetic thing in my life. Like, this game has consumed my life. Like, I'm talking about fucking eating it like a fucking vegetable. All the games past BO2 are fucking disgusting. Advanced Warfare came out. When all the COD nerds heard about the new game called Advanced Warfare, we got fucking hyped. All the trick shotters were like, hell yeah, this shit's fucking awesome. We got fucking jetpacks. Call me fucking Terminator. And then when the game released, we started playing it. And then we fucking realized that this game is shit. It's total shit. It's the exact same shit as the one on the sidewalk. What I'm saying is... AW wasn't the best COD in the franchise, but you know what is the best COD? Modern fucking Warfare 2. That shit, oh my god. You got the fucking Ass Clapper 130. Oh god. That shit rains hell on you. Like, I remember back when I was fucking, what, 13 years old? I had an intervention, and... We were on a high rise, I think. I believe that was the map. I was playing high rise. I had fucking one man army. Can you imagine that? One man army with an intervention. Like, what the fuck does this kid think he's doing? But you know, I'm sitting here playing MW2 with an intervention. One man army. I'm fucking going ham. Next thing you know, I get a fucking quad feed, five man feed. I get a fucking nuke. That shit's going crazy. Call me Pub Stomper. Get me into that fucking clan. I'm just a savage fucking shit up with my 360 no scopes. And then I hit 25 kills and you know what that is? It's a fucking nuke. I fucking started screaming. My dad was like, Ryan, shut up. And then I fucking like opened the door. I was like, dad, I got a fucking nuke. I got a fucking nuke. You vegetable. My mom comes out of her fucking bedroom, starts cussing me in fucking Chinese. I'm just like, what are you saying, woman? I don't know about you guys, but MW2 was the best fucking game they ever made and will have made. Because nothing can beat MW2. To be completely honest, MW2 was not that balanced. It was fucking like... It's fucking the U.S. Army on steroids. Can you imagine the U.S. Army on steroids? They're already fucking shit up. They fucking take a shot of steroids. They're going against ISIS. Fuck the guns. They are the guns. Talking about guns. The fucking UMP. Are you kidding me? The fucking ump. That shit was so overpowered. Especially when you put the silencer on, you're, you're fucking invincible. I'm talking about nukes. You can fucking get three nukes in a row with that shit. The game was so unbalanced. I remember when I went into an FFA lobby on Rust. Like fucking Rust. Do you remember that map? Where all the fucking nerds go 1v1ing each other? Well, I was in an FFA game on Rust. And these kids had fucking noob tubes. One man army. And they were just fucking reloading and shooting. And the whole map was fucking getting barraged by grenade launchers. Can you imagine, like, who the fuck can survive in that? I felt like I was in the fucking Hunger Games instead of 18 year olds trying to fucking kill each other with medieval weapons. We got like 11 virgins here trying to noob tube each other and fucking one man army this shit. I mean, the game was so unbalanced. I, I could not fucking explain it. 
The chopper gunners? Oh my god. The damage radius was fucking the whole map. You shoot one bullet and everyone fucking dies. If you have the chopper gunner and the nuke on, it's fucking over once you get the chopper. It's over. Like, you can just quit the game right there. Especially when you're in ground war and the guy has a fucking chopper gunner. It's like, get in the fucking refrigerator, you're gonna survive this. Like that one scene in Indiana Jones where he went into a refrigerator in Nuketown and just hid from the fucking nuke like it's nothing. Although the game was unbalanced, it was by far the greatest game the COD peeps have made. Going back to Rust, I have some pretty good history with that. I remember I had a friend, we were playing on Rust, we were trying to beat each other in 1v1 quick scoping. We put that to 30 kills. So at the end of 30 kills, the game ends. We would kill each other until 29 kills, and then we'd fucking go for 360 no scopes. And that, that my friend, is how I got into fucking trick shotting. Like that's how I started everything. That's, that's where this journey began, and my journey's gonna end right there. I'm gonna fucking settle this once and for all. And I'll see you there, buddy. I'm gonna fucking 360 no scope you. You better watch your fucking back, you pineapple. I'm coming for you. What I'm saying is, Call of Duty is like fucking popcorn that you buy in a movie theater. You buy the popcorn, you're sitting there watching your movie, and you're eating it, and it's just like Call of Duty. You buy the game, you play the game for a couple months, you know it's fucking hyped, you're learning all this new shit, you're, you're like, hey guys, this game is awesome, we should play it again, let's do this, yeah, yeah, yeah. Going back to the popcorn, after, you know, maybe 30 minutes, 40 minutes, mm -hmm. your popcorn becomes stale. Now, that's the same thing as Call of Duty. It, it gets kind of boring. You're just like, yeah, you know, it's the same shit. Do I really have to do this again? And that's exactly like popcorn. But there's people like me that fucking love stale popcorn. And that's the same thing with Call of Duty. I'm just fucking playing it for years. I mean, I played BO2 for two years in a row, like, nonstop. I haven't played any of the game since BO2. And I don't know if the theater that you go to gives you, like, free butter. I mean, like, the one you can dispense by yourself. Because I fucking love that shit. And, I mean, that's why I'm kind of, uh, pretty bulky, you know? But I fucking spray all that butter on my popcorn. And it's basically just like Call of Duty. The people put butter on their Call of Duty. By butter, I mean DLCs. You know, you gotta fucking buy the DLCs, though. But that's what makes the game, you know, get better. Because if you just play the same fucking maps over and over and over again, you know, you're just like, why the fuck is this game even exist? So that's why the developers... That's why the developers make these butter... And they just sprinkle it on the Call of Duty. And then, well, bam, you, you got fucking DLCs. And then people are like, oh my god, four new maps for like $20. There's going to be people in the comment section like, Rice, you fucking idiot. I fucking love COD. Kill yourself. I mean, I'm not saying you shouldn't play Call of Duty. Actually, I am saying don't play Call of Duty. But, I mean, you do you, boo-boo. Because, I mean, I'm, I, I don't control your life, so you can play it if you want. I'm just saying my opinion. I'm just saying what I think about the game and why I don't like it. But, I mean, if you like the game, go right ahead. No one's stopping you. You can fucking play the game. You play the game. I mean, if you fucking told me not to jack off, I'm still gonna fucking jack off. Get on my level, bro. Like, motherfucker, you can't control me. You can't fucking stop the one-inch Punisher. Come at me, bro. No, but if you do enjoy the game, play the game. I mean, I'm not telling you to not play the game. But, I mean, if you don't like the game, don't play the game. It's easy as that. Play the game if you like it. Don't play the game if you don't like it. That's really it. Hope you guys enjoyed my retarded commentary once again for the third time. I think fourth time now. I don't even know. So last video, I asked you guys for 10 likes, and that was out of the ballpark. Now let's see if we can reach 10 and a half. I know that's pretty huge, but I think you guys can make it. I know it's it's it might be a big hassle, but I think you guys can make it. It's only ten and a half. I don't think it's that hard. I mean, unless you're handicapped and you you can't scroll down and leave a like. But I mean, I'm pretty sure you guys aren't handicapped, so I'm gonna leave it at ten and a half likes this time. If I get ten and a half likes, I'll be donating a used condom. As always, kids, don't do drugs. Eat your vegetables and stay in school. Goodbye.